Welcome to Earth Juice. Coming up this week, tail whipping thresher sharks, ultrasound genitals, and electronic skin. First up, some incredible footage has been doing the rounds of the Earth Unplugged office this week. It was shot by Clemens Gans, an underwater videographer, and it shows thresher sharks using their scythe like tails to whip sardines to death. Gan filmed this open water thresher, one of three species of thresher shark, just off the Pescador Island in the Philippines, where huge shoals of sardines gather, and it's thought to be some of the first footage of thresher sharks using their tails to hunt in the wild. Analyzing the footage, Dr. Simon Oliver, founder of the Thresher Shark Research and Conservation Project and based at Liverpool University in the UK, saw that there were a series of bubbles forming as the tail whipped through the water. Now he speculated that this might be caused by the tail moving so quickly that it lowers the pressure of the water around it and causes a shockwave knocking the fish out. Oliver explained that this method of hunting is fast, aggressive and violent and that when the tail hits the fish the results really aren't pretty. The water becomes full of ruptured swim bladders, broken spines and body parts and all the sharks have to do is swim around and swallow all of the little pieces. Due to being caught for food or as a byproduct in the sardine fishing industry, the population of thresher sharks has fallen by about 75% in the last decade alone, but it's hoped that by further understanding their biology we can help to protect this incredible species. And shark species across the world are being protected. And Sam recently went to Monterey Bay Aquarium to meet some of the team there to see how they are protecting great white sharks. As well as enjoying that incredible footage, Matt, who likes to stay behind the camera as much as possible, found this unbelievable story which shows genitals being used for something a little bit more than sex. Scientists from the University of Florida and Boise State University in Idaho studied hawk moths and found that they responded to the ultrasonic calls of bats using their genitals to produce their own oscillating sound waves. Interestingly, both sexes can make this noise by using different parts of their body to rub against their abdomen. Males have stiff scales on what are called their claspers and they use those. The females, however, pull their genitalia into their body, allowing them to use their genital scales. Assistant Professor Jesse Barber explained that the genital clicking could be an anti-bat defense system and that the noise produced by the moth genitals could block the sonar of predatory bats. He added that anti-bat sound protection may not be limited to these moths and that other insects may have entered this evolutionary arms race to block ultrasonic sound waves. And finally, a team of scientists have just made an incredibly lifelike artificial skin, which they hope could be added to prosthetic limbs in the near future. Using tiny particles of golden resin, the scientists from the Technion Israel Institute of Technology created an e-skin with a flexible sensor, which could be used as the outer layers of replacement limbs. Currently, electronic skins can only detect one thing, touch, but this new breakthrough from the team has a sensor which can detect three types of data, touch, humidity, and temperature, and this allows it to recreate lifelike sensations of both touch and environmental change. That's this week's juice. If you enjoyed that thresher shark footage, you should check out our pistol shrimp slow-mo because it hunts in a surprisingly similar way. The link will be in the description below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. So Sam, I understand this little guy is uh, one of the holy grails of slow-mo. Absolutely, mate. I can't wait to see it myself. You might have noticed he's got this big claw on one side there, on the right hand side. Yep. He can shut that at about 100 kilometers an hour. 